run that jump with the remaining. Um, yeah, yeah, he's now down by 10 frags. Oh god. Yeah, Lost Cost almost hit that. Info. Uh, Lost Cost has to be careful here. It is 10 frags, but I. I'm really judging the play right now more than the actual score at the moment just because I want to see Lost Cause move forward here past a couple token rounds in this tournament and if he can take down Slasher, cool, but after that he's got a lot of heavy competition coming his way and this kind of plus forward is on hub kind of interesting. But, oh wow, and you're, you're starting to see the aim and the prediction rockets kind of come down and How that's what we really need to see from Lost Cause. But through the window. <laughs> <laughs> More than you can afford, my good sir. But right now, we're, we're seeing the aim and prediction shots come around. But especially, especially where is stuff. the item play going to come? Where is the timing going to come from? Where is the defensive maneuvering going to come from? And that has really been uh, Lost Cause's weak point here so far. The fact that Slasher is walking into a lot of these rails is definitely helping. But again, all right, Meg is up. Lost Cause wasn't making the play for it. He's able to respond with good damage on it. But other than that, what does he have? <laughs> I mean, it wasn't pretty, you're right, but the scoreline sure is pretty, so I guess. But he's he, he didn't play, a, you know, an amazing game. You know, like, 24 to 8, I guess. You know, I guess that looks great. Yeah, well, and I, I, the issue here is it's going to throw off Slasher, um, who, you know, will probably not take the rest of the night seriously. We'll, we'll have to see how it goes. We will see. Yeah. This is one map. He plays with emotions, but, you know, I... I respect his, you know, he he got unbanned or whatever the situation is, and he's coming back, and you know he's making an attempt. So at least, I, it seems like he does take things a little more seriously now. Now that he he's had his ups and downs, so I, I get respect for him on that. Now this Slasher should definitely have Slasher a little bit less QQ style. here. Yeah, definitely, definitely. But so too will it be for a lost cause. All right, it's waiting for F3 out of these guys. Uh, Lost Cause with a very convincing win against Slasher. Woot! On Arrowwalk, we will now see how these two players fare on Blood Run. Here we go. Slasher. All right, Slasher, oh. Rocket Launch. Oh, go for it. All right, and Mega. And does not check for any RA damage because he can already hear that Lost Cause was... Long gone. Slasher moving in on rail, trying to do a nice defensive move. I, I like the idea of it, but of course, um, I think he should have expected that Lost Cause would not be waiting anywhere within range of that LG. So uh, it's kind of like walking into a room with your guns blazing and emptying every single shot you have, and by the time you're done, the other guy is just standing there. You know, it's like uh, Samuel L. and John Travolta in Pulp Fiction. You know, it's like, all right, buddy. Oh dear. Our turn. Still scoreless, though. But Slasher's done a good amount of damage and has gotten away fairly free with that mega health. And now he can kind of reside in the yellow armor room just for a second. But diving back on through here. But, oh, did he not anticipate Ooh. that play from Lost Cause? But a good response. He's able to shove Lost Cause off of there. But look at this chase. Look at this aggression. And by dropping down here, I mean, if he wants to get back over for RA, he's got to make a decision here very quickly. In fact, that... Time is now gone, and he's lost timing on he, Mega he Health. Heard, he heard the he, teleporter. That's a huge rocket. Nice shot by Slasher. He can nice. back off to the Mega. He knows it, and he does so now. He is out of rockets, though, so he's going to need to double back and uh, get an RL. And actually, Lost Cause looking he's down to be sword away. Yeah. This is Look at this, this plus four, though, with the shoddy. Yeah. At five health, though, he takes first frag, and there's no 50 health up. Yellow arm is going to be taken away, and that's going to tie it back up one to one. And while in many situations I would call that kind of a mutual kind of game reset, Lost Cause already has red armor off of that, and it's still several seconds away to mega health. Right now, this is the open doorway for Lost Cause to take total map control. Yeah. With Red coming up in about 5 seconds, Lost Cause is going to stick around and try to do as much damage and denial as he can. He's going to switch positions here using the teleporter. Slasher's rocket is off at the exact wrong time. That gives Lost Cause a chance to get a free RA. 
Um, only a bit of splash. He jumps over one rocket and the click, click, click out of LG Cell's Lost Cause will be. So Slash will get away with uh, just a handful of armor now. He does pick up the plasma yellow. But at this point, he is pretty much uh, down and out because Lost is going to pick up this and head straight for the RA and we'll have both. Slasher at best can do a little bit of damage but is uh, far too weak to contend. And uh, honestly, I can now, only Now, he left that up fairly Going. early yeah yeah he left the, the the red room fairly early but i was really wondering what you know what could he immediately fall back to nothing what else was really up on the board so he's still gonna gonna he's still gonna be tiptoeing around this a little bit longer but now we see a mutual timing here for both Red Armor and Mega Health. They're both going to be coming up at the same time. Of course, this map, it doesn't necessarily mean a trade-off. Slasher taking a lot of LG here, but he's turned it right back around. Lost Cause out of cells, oh, taking up the 25, but Slasher with 9 health will be getting the clutch nice. rail, t tying it back up 2-2. Two to two. And Slasher's able to pick up a 50 and another 25. Uh, maybe not that other 25. He's going to be ducking back around here. Lost Cause with the just, oh, by the way, rail. We'll be keeping Slasher on his toes here. Yeah, you know, Slasher's aggressive style is... Oh, wow, that was, that was the full brunt of the shotgun, folks. But Slasher's aggressive style has bought him both frags. Uh, in both instances, honestly, any other player would have been dodging away from the situation. Slasher's like, eh. By the way, did we just see a plasma to rocket to rail combo? I think we did. That was awesome. Combo breaker. I want to see that again. Oh. <laughs> well, I... even with the frags that, that Slash has been making, the two here, both of them have been situations where he really didn't need to be in the fight. He was trying to bite off more than he could chew, and even though he picked up the frag, he was left very weak, out of position, and not at the right time to take an immediate duck back to one of the major items. So Lost Cause picking up Mega, 50 armor, might be ducking back through the teleporter here, but he's not kind of changing up the timing here to keep Slasher out of it. Nice. Slasher walking Perfect. right into a rocket. Perfect. Very nice play there from Lost Cause, and that will keep Slasher the hell away from his red armor. And Lost Cause has full dominance at the moment, and he might be looking for blood. Yellow armor is going to be up. Slasher's not above. And again, Slasher anything. is left out without anything to work with. Yeah. yeah, and actually, this is even dangerous here because Lost could come through the teleporter. No. Even the slasher's wary. He's wary. Yeah. So, Lost Cause actually is a little bit behind. This again, dangerous. Right about... Ah, uh, RA. Okay, we, we see RA picked up by Lost Cause. Slasher is lost timing. Oh, wow. That was a very fortunate rocket. That stopped Lost Cause from dropping in and doing damage. He's gonna drop in this way. And yeah, Slasher without any resources for the past uh, minute really can't can't fend off a, uh, what was it, at the start of that fight, a pretty well-stacked Lost Cause. So um, I think that uh, at, at this point, you know, we're seeing that Lost Cause is, is very comfortable here. Slasher more comfortable than he was on the previous map, but um, obviously Lost Cause, I think, uh, just has the greater aim, greater movement, a little bit better skill. Oof. But yeah, it's only four frags difference here, but we're, we're again, only at four minutes left until the end of this. Lost Cause has had a very, very solid play. Uh, if not getting each item for, for free, he's definitely been dominating each position. And it's been really the positioning here that's been giving it to him. And a failed rocket jump, Slasher will be chewing on a meaty, meaty bit of LG as he heads his way down. And will again be giving up Red Armor. He's had a lot of situations where he's taken enough excuse me, taking enough da damage but for the item spawn that he has to just kind of leave it up and, and leave Lost Cause to kind of take it. But if he just changes up his timing a little bit, he can kind of enter, do damage without taking anything in return. Just his early arrival at all these parties is leaving him a rather sore and early lever. Yeah, contrast that with real life where if you're the late lever and you fall asleep, well... You'll be left sore. Mm. Seven to two. Mm. And about Especially three minutes left to go. Slasher room. stuck in a corner. Lost Cause gonna barrel through and Whoops. get the frag. Um, Slasher though, I think at the start of this thing played it pretty well, but again, I think I just feel like Lost Cause uh, 
feeling pretty warmed up on Blood Run. And Slasher has been playing a plus back and really been searching for any semblance of of an item that he can use to get back into this game, but Lost Cause is controlling things so well. Even that right off the red armor grab, Lost Cause is able to do damage. Fantastic shot there. Slasher able to uh, get 50 health with his 25s, bumping up to uh, 96. Has a decent stack, but does not have a rocket launcher. And he will die. Hmm. So, uh, we're almost in garbage time here. And with the last few uh, last few plays here, I really would have expected Slasher to have better pole dancing skills. Oh, very nice LG there from Las Cas, though. I, I caught the pole dancing. Well, you know, with with his mom's experience, yeah, I know. Dude, um, leave his dude, what? You know, okay, leave. now that now that's across the line. I'm just trying to feel out where where your yes. metaphorical just boundaries. You don't you are don't now. talk about someone's mother if they're not here to defend themselves. That's the rule. Now, if if, if uh, he was on stream, then you can say whatever you so want. So he should be more like Griffin. That's what you're saying. Oh, that, that's just funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. There's a difference. Yeah. Slasher definitely didn't look uh, polished tonight. The RA jump, but I guess he doesn't like arrow walk. And I, I guess Rafik is definitely a good player, but I don't know. I was surprised we had two matches by him. Oh, but, baby. Uh, Vertical like, rail. <laughs> Kind of a bitter finish for Slasher here. Not really. I mean, he's playing against Lost Cause, so it's got to be kind of fun. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Playing against someone that he really admires. 32% rail, 27 LG, 40 rocket for Lost Cause, who tonight is anything but. I kind of love how these guys just keep just running straight into each other. And like, yeah. it's, their, it's the rockets that bounce them <laughs> back and give some no fighting room. It's really hilarious. Very rare to see. But very fun to see. I, I think Slasher should learn to love Arrowlock because he played some good games on Arrowlock. It's too bad. I mean, I don't hear a lot of people not liking that map, but, you know, he definitely played okay on Arrowlock and, you know, got through the first round, so. Maybe yeah. maybe he'll start liking it now. Probably not. Four impressives Probably for Lost not, Cause. No. Slasher with only one, I believe. But, uh, yeah. All right, I gotta guys, say, I love Slasher's play, but I'm even more happy that Lost Cause will be moving into the next round. That is a cause for joy on my part. So I agree with IRC. It's time to just uh, turn on the CZM cam. You know, with that yellow and green being so close to each other, that 75 armor that your opponent can pick up every 25 seconds, and uh, they they can definitely use that to get back into the game. We're gonna go live right now, and Jahar, if you can please do us the honors, you know who I'm following. Oh yes, following the crazy man himself, CZM spawning up top, LG and red armor will be his first items, mega health picked up by Fiend of course, CZM just just shopping right now, but oh wow, very nice aggression here, shoving Fiend back off of that platform and taking high ground, he ate one of those nades to the face, but a nice little rocket snuck through, not doing any damage, but definitely making Fiend get his tail between his legs, and CZM maintains a good position here for red armor, again, the damage with rail or rockets could be very, very heavy here as the next spawn for red armor comes up but CZM gets away without taking too much and he's in pretty decent position for mega health actually and if he doesn't show up here to do any kind of damage that would be the first mark against him I believe yeah I mean great work by CZM to maneuver himself in such a way and uh, look, look at that look at how he's playing this too he's all he's trying to shut out fiend from getting anywhere near this RA. he's gonna make the jump he has it and he's done and uh, the spam coming in from Fiend is uh, honestly just a little bit off. And none of it's really connected to do any damage. So, so far, everything is working well for CZM. And look at the angles. I love it. Beautiful there. He's a little bit late on the rail switch, but still really solid here. Finally getting bounced around a little bit. That rocket will finally do some real damage, but it's all undone thanks to the Mega Health. Great item control so far by CZM. 
Indeed, nice rail there from Thien, but it's not going to be quite enough to scare him off of this uh, off of this position. CCM d diving.